This is Ernest Hemingway's 577 Nitro Express, one of the most historical firearms in the world. Ernest Hemingway was one of American literature's most iconic and revered figures for many reasons. He lived larger than life. He was a bullfighter, he was a fist fighter, he was a war hero, just an incredible writer. But one of the most famous things as far as hunting is concerned that Hemingway was famous for was a couple of trips he took to Africa. Ernest Hemingway did two safaris in his lifetime, the first being in 1934, and he hunted with legendary PH uh, Philip Percival. He took a rifle that was inadequate. He was a big fan of the 30-06, and he wanted to hunt buffalo and lion with the 30-06, and Percival really didn't like that, but it was the case, and it was, it was severely undergunned. Hemingway did his second safari in 1953 and 54, only this time he had this Wesley Richards 577 double rifle. It's a much, much larger rifle, much more adequate for the dangerous game he would be hunting. Wesley Richards prides itself on being one of the finest gun manufacturers in the world, and even though this rifle was made way back in 1913, it still opens and closes like a bank vault. Coming in at about 16 pounds, this rifle packs a punch on the animals it's intended to harvest, but as well as the person firing the rifle. The 577 fires a 750 grain bullet at 1800 feet per second and generates 7300 foot-pounds of kinetic energy. This rifle features folding leaf sights for 100 yards. You can flip the next leaf up for 200 yards. And if you're really ambitious, you can fold the final leaf up for 300 yard shot. Anyone who shot a rifle of this size knows that a 300 yard shot is quite ambitious. The wood on the stock is just weathered and has dents and scratches all in it, which gives it its unique character. I wish this rifle could tell some stories about traveling around Cuba, hunting for German U-boats, or being uh, carried across Africa by Hemingway as he hunted buffalo and rhinoceros with it. The current owner acquired this rifle for a staggering amount of close to $400,000 and he did not put it on display but rather took it straight to Africa and used this rifle for what it was intended for and that's hunting big game. Considering this rifle is 105 years old, has traveled all over the world and was held by one of the greatest riders of American history, it's such an honor to strike the primers and see what this big bore double rifle can do. That's the bucket aftermath from the 577 owned by Ernest Hemingway. You can see where the entrance hole is right there. And when with the pressure, that's the exit. Hemingway was certainly a legendary rider. And as you can see, this was a legendary firearm he owned. <laughs>